Soul Recipes member Linda McDaniel describes her green tomato relish as a delicious tangy relish of green tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and spices. Linda says the relish is perfect with sandwiches, potatoes, cheese, and lots of other entrees and adds, it makes a great gift too. To begin, because it's a good idea to sterilize the jars before you make the relish, start by preheating the oven to 180 degrees. Then, put 12 pint mason jars on a cookie sheet and heat them in the oven for about 10 minutes. Trim and discard the stems from six pounds of green tomatoes. The size of the tomatoes will vary depending on the time of the season. Then, cut three red bell peppers and three green bell peppers in half and remove the seeds. Peel and quarter 12 large onions. Using a food processor, coarsely grind the tomatoes in batches. Put the tomatoes into a cheesecloth lined colander set in a larger bowl to collect the liquid as it drains. Now, coarsely grind the red and green bell peppers in batches as well. Add those to the colander. Then, finally, coarsely grind the onions in batches. Add those to the colander. Let the vegetables drain for one hour. Add the drained vegetables to a large, non-aluminum stock pot. Add three tablespoons of celery seed. Three tablespoons of mustard seed. one tablespoon of salt, five cups of sugar, and two cups of cider vinegar. Bring the relish to a boil over medium-high heat. Reduce the heat to low and simmer the vegetables for five minutes, stirring frequently. Transfer the steamy relish into the jars. Leave a quarter to a half of an inch of headspace between the top of the relish and the lid. Remove any air bubbles with a bubble remover tool like this if you have one, or you can use a skewer. Seal the jars with a magnetic lid lifter to keep them sterilized or use a sanitized kitchen glove. Now we'll process the jars in a water bath by placing a rack in the bottom of a large stock pot filled halfway with boiling water. Carefully lower the jars into the pot using a jar holder. Leave a two inch space between the jars. You'll need to do this in batches. You want the jars covered by two inches of water. Bring the water to a full boil then cover the pot and process the jars for 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the jars from the stock pot and place them on a cloth several inches apart to cool. Once the jars have cooled, test each jar by pressing its lid with your finger. If the seal is tight, the lid will not move up or down at all. The sealed jars of relish can be stored for up to one year. All Recipes member Sandra says this green tomato relish has very good flavor. I added four hot peppers to the last batch for a little added zing. We love it with white beans and cornbread, says Sandra.